ഹലോ എവരി വൺ വെൽക്കം ബാക്ക് ടു പവർ ക്വാളിറ്റി ലെക്ചർ സീരീസ് സോ ഇൻ ദിസ് കമ്മിങ് വീഡിയോസ് വി ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു ഡിസ്കസ് അബൌട്ട് വാരിയസ് ഹാർമോണിക് മിറ്റിഗേഷൻ മെത്തേഡ്സ് ദീസ് ആർ ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് ടൈപ്സ് ഓഫ് പാസി പവർ ഫിൽട്ടേഴ്സ് ആക്റ്റീവ് പവർ ഫിൽട്ടേഴ്സ് ഹൈബ്രിഡ് ഫിൽട്ടേഴ്സ് എക്സെട്ര സോ വി വിൽ ഡിസ്കസ് Uh, power conditioners such as uh, passive power filter which are in shunt or series or hybrid filters active power filters etc so harmonic e- elimination techniques are used mm-hmm. to improve the power system performance with uh, some objectives uh, these are uh, to improve the system per- power factor and to compensate the reactive power second one is to maintain a particular thd limit in the current harmonic distortion distribution so uh, the harmonic mitigation techniques or harmonic elimination methods are uh, implemented so as to ensure the power factor improvement and minimizing the source current within a uh, standard value of thd as an ieee 590 standard it is uh, recommended that the source current thd should be less than 5 percentage so various devices and equipment serves the purpose of harmonic elimination from the power system most mostly current harmonic filters are used to reduce the current harmonics in the power system so there are various types of uh, Uh, harmonic filters uh, it can be classified as uh, shown here uh, a passive filter or an active filter passive filter can be a shunt connected or series connected or hybrid connected passive filter then active filter also shunt active filter series active filter and hybrid active filter first we are going to discuss about passive power filters so traditionally passive power filters are used to reduce the harmonics and uh, capacitors are generally employed to improve the power factor of the ac loads so this uh, passive power filter uh, uh, itself consist of a resistance capacitor and a inductor so passive power filters are classified into many categories such as shunt category shunt series hybrid it can be either single uh, harmonic tuned or double tuned damped type uh, passive power filters band pass filters high pass filters etc so it is a combination of series or parallel connection of passive elements such as capacitors inductors and or resistor so this actually provides a low resistance path for harmonic current to flow owing to the formation of resonance at that particular harmonic frequency so this harmonic current is diverted through a passive filter network and system current becomes free from distortion passive power filters uh, reduces the harmonics and capacitors are uh, generally employed to improve the power factor of the ac load uh, in a in medium and low power rating especially in a distribution system the passive power filters are used again because of their uh, mostly uh, passive power filters are used because of their low cost and uh, simplicity and because of the low value of power capacitor in a power passive power filter uh, uh, actually these filters become very sensitive to the parallel resonance between the filter capacitors and source impedance so that is one of the disadvantages of a passive power filter and uh, the passive power filter technology uh, is a mature technology nowadays for providing the compensation for harmonic current and uh, reactive power in ac networks and these filters are also used to eliminate uh, Uh, voltage harmonics to regulate the terminal voltage also to suppress the voltage flicker and to improve the voltage balance in a three phase systems 
so these objectives are achieved either individually or in a combination upon the requirement and the configuration that needs to be uh, selected appropriately so the passive power filter can be a shunt passive power filter or series passive power filter or hybrid uh, passive power filters uh, a shunt passive power filter uh, Uh, are connected in parallel to the harmonic producing loads to provide low impedance paths for harmonic current so that these harmonic current do not enter supply systems so they are combined confined to flow in the local passive circuit consisting of uh, lossless passive elements such as inductor l capacitor c and to reduce losses in a uh, Uh, and to reduce the losses in the filter system so capacitor may have um, very low internal power losses but inductor have reasonable resistance and other losses associated with and you cannot neglect inductor losses and an equivalent resistance connected in series with the inductors so this is a uh, pictorial uh, representation of a shunt act passive power filter shunt passive filter uh, uh, tuned or band pass filters so you can see the first one a is a single tuned uh, passive power filter then uh, b is a double tuned uh, uh, passive power filter c you can see it is a triple tuned with a series capacitor and fourth one is a triple tuned with a series inductor these are the various combination of a, uh, a passive shunt passive power filter uh, and these uh, are most widely used for elimination of current harmonics and for reactive power compensation and these are mainly used with the load end because the current harmonics are injected by the non linear loads so this inject current compensating current opposite in phase to cancel the harmonics and or reactive component of the non linear load current at the point of connection uh, you can see various types of uh, shunt filters uh, uh, and its uh, uh, impedance versus uh, uh, frequency characteristics also Uh, the first one is a band pass filter or it is a, is a single tuned filter then high pass filter is second one is high pass filter and third one c is a double band pass filter and fourth one is a composite or hybrid type filter and you can see the uh, various uh, impedance versus uh, frequency characteristics uh this uh, uh, figure one actually as you can see that a simple series rlc circuit in which uh, uh, r is the resistance of the inductor so the value of the capacitor is decided by the reactive power requirement of the loads and its inductor value is decided by the uh, tuned frequency so these type of uh, filters the first one that is the band pass filter or single tuned these type of filters provide harmonic current and uh, voltage reduction and the power factor correction because of the capacitive uh, reactive power at fundamental frequency behaves as a capacitive impedance and and in a as you can see the figure 1c which is a double band pass or double tuned filter having a minimum impedance at both both tuned frequencies and main use of uh, uh, this kind of filter is in high voltage application because of the reduction in the number of inductors to be subjected to full line impulse voltages figure uh, you can see the b and uh, uh, d they are high pass filters that absorb all higher order harmonics they are also called damped filters as they provide damping due to the presence of resistor in the circuit uh, 
so these filters have higher losses but a high frequency but at high frequencies not much higher current and power losses are present in the loads for reducing the losses and better filtering characteristics uh, third order high pass filters are used as uh, you can see in this uh, figure 1d and the major disadvantage of these kind of filters are they have problems of resonance with the source impedance and a fixed compensation poor power factor at light loads due to the excessive leading reactive power injection these are the uh, major drawbacks of uh, these type of uh, filters and they shun passive shunt filters uh, mostly they are connected in parallel to the harmonic producing loads to provide low impedance path for harmonic current and so that the harmonic current do not uh, enter supply systems and are actually confined to flow in a local passive circuit preferably uh, consist of a lossless passive elements uh, such as uh, l and c which will effectively reduce the losses in the filter system and but it this this will uh, leads the problem of uh, resonance uh, with the source impedance that is one of the great disadvantages and also a reactive power injection will definitely uh, again will reduce the poor uh, will leads to the power, poor power factor also uh, and you can Uh, see that uh, uh, in a double tuned filter uh, uh, actually we are using uh, uh, the these are tuned for two different frequencies in a single circuit so it is known as a uh, double tuned or double band pass filter as we uh, already shown Uh, which which act uh, in that uh, uh, diagram you can see that uh, for a double tuned filter um, or double band pass filter you can see the figure c uh, uh, which is having a minimum impedance at uh, both tuned frequencies uh, and this uh, kind of double tuned filter is uh, uh, mainly used in the high voltage application uh, and more than uh, two tuned filters like a triple and quadruple can be combined in one circuit uh, that is uh, you can see in the figure d that is composite type uh, uh, but it, it does not have any specific advantages uh, also there is a difficulty in adjustment in the tuning etc also so mostly we are not preferring a composite type of uh, filter and a high uh, uh, high pass filter uh, normally absorbs uh, higher order harmonics uh, and because of the presence of the resistance uh, uh, that is uh, there will be characteristics like damping so they otherwise known as a damped filter sometimes it is known as damped filter because of the uh, because they provide damping due to the presence of resistance in the circuit but these filters high pass filters have higher losses uh, uh, but fortunately at high frequencies it does not uh, leads to much higher currents and power losses that is the advantages then you can see series uh, uh, passive filter so passive filter can connected in series with harmonic producing load to provide high impedance for blocking harmonic current so that the uh, so that these harmonic current do not enter the supply systems and which are uh, confined to flow in the local passive circuit that is pre preferably consist of a parallel connected lossless passive elements such as inductor uh, and capacitor 
the passive series filter is a simple uh, parallel lc circuit uh, you can see in the figure is a simple uh, lc circuit at fundamental frequency the filter is designed to offer very uh, low impedance uh, thereby allowing the fundamental current with a negligible voltage drop and losses and and this series filters are used to block single harmonic current such as uh, third harmonic current etc and actually these are used in small power rating um, uh, uh, in a single phase system to block the uh, dominant third harmonic current uh, uh, for blocking the multiple uh, harmonic current uh, we need to use a multiple harmonic filters need uh, that should be connected in series Yeah. That, uh, and uh, this is what we discussed uh, and these filters must uh, uh, must be designed to carry full rated load current with uh, over current uh, protection and uh, let's move on to hybrid filters hybrid filters Uh, hybrid filters actually uh, consist of, of a series and shunt passive filters uh, you can see this is a combination of uh, series and shunt filters you can see uh, figure a and b here uh, a is a double damped double tuned filter this is a combination of series and shunt filters uh, second one also damped triple tuned hybrid filter so it can be used in many industrial applications as mentioned earlier both the passive and passive shunt and passive series filters have some drawbacks if they are used in individually however a passive hybrid filter consisting of a single tuned passive series filter with a single tuned passive shunt filter and high high pass passive shunt filter offers very uh, good filtering characteristics when you are combining it you can uh, combine the advantages of uh, these two shunt and series filters so a single tuned passive series filter is able to block uh, series uh, resonance between the supply and the uh, passive shunt filter and absorb the excess reactive power of the passive shunt filter at light load condition so this type of hybrid passive filter offers very good filtering characteristics under varying uh, loads uh, and these are uh, uh, the hybrid filter uh, combinations you can see various combinations of hybrid filter the first one is a, a combination of uh, Uh, figure a shows the combination of passive series uh, filter and a passive shunt filter the second one is the uh, ac mains is directly connected with a passive shunt then passive series filter to the non linear load then uh, uh, figure c is the passive series filter then passive shunt filter and a, again a passive series filter the d is a first one is a passive shunt filter then a passive series filter and a passive shunt filters various uh, uh, combinations you can see uh, or various arrangements of uh, hybrid filters are given here